Hello guys, greetings and welcome you again to Brian the program. In this video, we are going to be creating a basic React app and from there we are going to use that to work on our project. So basically as you see you can easily search for the create react app and you fall on the GitHub repository. From the GitHub repository you can see there are numerous config folders with some basic React code files and bunch of config files which helps to build for production. So to execute this you could check out the user guide here in the description and soon we are going to create the um, React app like this. So here you can also check the documentation on how that is done. Also to execute the various steps that we are going to be taking you throughout this tutorial, we are going to need Node.js. So currently I am um, working on Windows 11 so you can download it for your Windows. I will advise you to download the current version which is going to help you run the create react app basically node.js is a technology which is not entirely related to react but it's a runtime for javascript code outside the browser but you need to know that for your react it runs your js code within the browser but we're going to need this node.js for the create react app tool if it's not the create react app tool to fulfill so nextly, we are going to be using the Visual Studio Code for Windows. You can visit this link. I'll provide it in the description below. Code.visualstudio.com And from there, you will be able to download it for Windows and other different platforms. That is going to help you to run this project. So now, basically, I'm going to create a GitHub repository where you'll be able to get access to this code. So I'm going to give the repository name at this. So it will be good for you to just clone this repository so we shall we will be able to have the same starting file. So I'm going to create the repository. As you can see, I said earlier, after you've downloaded your VS code, you have something like this. So now you see the repository is public. So I'm going to clone this locally to my machine. And from there, we are going to make our changes. So I'm going to clone this repository you can do the same and you specify a particular folder in which you want that repository to be found so i'm going to clone it here this is actually going to take us a while so once you've cloned you see a, a pop-up to ask you so you just open that particular repository on your vs code so as seen you discover there is nothing in your vs code so now we're going to go to a new terminal First of all, before that, you need to verify that Node.js is installed. If not, you have errors while running your project. So like I said at the start of this video, this documentation helps you set up your create React app. So to get started with it, firstly, this is a command we are going to be using. So we will just typically copy that and go towards our project so you see here we can tell us to see where we are actually cloning um where we are actually creating the react app so here we can name it mp we call um, the command is mpx create react app we'll give the app name you can give it anything you wish so once that is done you will discover this is going to Start installing so as basically you see here uh, installing different packages which are going to be used for your project it is installing react react down and other react scripts that are going to be used for this project and for you to be on the same path um i'm going to be uploading the code live as i do changes on it so you can actually clone each step and follow up with me so this is going to take a while and once it's done we're going to continue with it. So here, yeah, once you're done, you have to cd to that particular application, cd to the app, and you use npn start. npn start will just um, basically help you start your server. So if you've previously installed this app, 
you can uninstall this from your terminal and upload it so like i said you need to mpx you don't have to actually download it manually but as long as you have a uh, this problem will be solved so after this you can init your react app so i will continue with this so it's actually taking a while so you just need to be patient for it to get into completion oh wow as you can see here we have successfully installed our various packages now you can see that npm start, starts the development server npm one will help you to build your app like for production or probably when you're deploying that particular project so now for us to start this you just typically navigate cd cd means you change your directory to this particular directory depending on the way you, you store that once you do that you can do npm start for you who is just cloning the repository i will advise you to do npm install before you do npm start so that will be very very important for you so basically here you have your first react app running so from here you can easily you can learn this redirect you to the react um, documentation which is very important where You have slash client okay from the react dom slash client we are going to import, uh, import this our index.css that you see here in this source so import our Another thing we need, we need is our app.js, so we'll just import it here. Okay, what next? We're just going to uh, create. We have we have done here. Okay. 
so we can get an uh, element by item and it's just for the root okay so and we'll render that execution so with time you actually understand um, the use of these various components and make them more usable okay so now typically that's what we have in our Linux okay so now for this uh app.js we're going to also clean things up to make things um really suitable for us so yeah we'll just create a basic function so let's say, since we deleted the logo and all the like we'll just clear this off to, to create maybe a basic uh, function and we'll give it in the name of app but now we're not going to pass any parameters to it we'll just kind of return Now we think that we will have okay. So we have makes it possible for us to write uh, X, uh HTML code in JavaScript. So that's more of JSX. So in, in the upcoming videos, you have to understand what JSX is all about. So it's basically JavaScript and XML. So with time you get understand. So we we'll just put uh that is we have okay so for that uh index.css so basically let's go through this if you take note we don't necessarily need a couple of these we're just going to write this is not actually a, a css course but if you have any questions you can drop it down this is our body we'll just give it a it's just you give it a margin of view okay let's give it to a background color so you actually see it then now this is not also really important for now all this you can just keep that again so we'll just lose and uh, that as well as well if you still have uh, so to do that just go to the terminal just list you see the directory that you're inside then you change the directory to what you have just okay. and then check into the instance let's see if um we have actually solved all our issues that we needed to solve so let's just start on another and So we have an error at, at the level of our index.js and the error is very very clear for us to see so it says there's an error in our source slash index.js so slash index.js here yeah. okay. let's do this okay we have what we have this here We have this here. Create a root get element by item. Okay. So we render this out. Now, as you can see, uh, here we have to after writing this, export this 
the property. Now this click us here. Make sure I say is too one. You put it on a server. And you go to terminal. So we're going to restart it to see if they are still here. So you change directory to this. Okay. So this should start up as ever and okay, there are no issues. So here you can just see if it's affected here and that was within within our app to JS. So anything you write within this app to JS gets rendered. So for instance, if we have uh, let's say we have another DJ. So if we have So you discover you have an error uh, now and the code is not really well formatted. So um, one extension would be good for it to install what I call feature. Feature is a code format that helps you to format your code accordingly. So to make it more readable. So when you, here we are not dealing with um, HTML, here it's more clear. So for you to solve this kind of problem in a basic way for now, you just put all of them to see if you still have that. Error, okay, so sorry, here we need to close it and we open it here. So, you see, this this easily solves the problem of that, but 